My name is Christina Gaithel, and I'm a PhD student at the Chesapeake Biological Lab, which is part of the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science. I work in Dr. Jackie Grebmeyer's lab, where I study the effects of a changing physical environment on clams in the Arctic Ocean. Today, we're going to talk about one of those physical parameters, ocean acidification, and I'm going to teach you an experiment that you can do right in your own living room to study this phenomenon. It is normal for the world's oceans to absorb CO2, which is an atmospheric gas that humans breathe out, trees breathe in, and are, is increased by activities like burning of fossil fuels or the gasoline from your car. However, when too much CO2 enters the ocean, it can become harmful to animals that create calcium carbonate shells, like snails, crabs, and clams. Oftentimes, these animals are food for larger animals, and so if they're harmed, the entire ecosystem is harmed. The waters become corrosive and it makes it harder for these animals to create their shells and shells that are created already become more vulnerable to dissolution and dissolving. Today, with the help of a friend, I'm gonna show you an experiment that walks through the steps so that you can see uh, ocean acidification in the works. Just stay tuned and coming up next are steps in the at-home experiment. I'm gonna show everyone what they need first. Vinegar, we first have to put vinegar, water, and then fish oil. And some salt, right? Some of them are going to have salt. So we have salt, we have vinegar, we have we our clear not, containers. We only use vinegar and shell vegetables. Yeah, that was your test, right? That was yeah. your pre experiment. Well, it's already getting light. Yeah. So we're going to fill, what do you think, Kayo? We have to fill, we have to fill all of them with water, right? Well, let's just. Just fill a little bit, a little bit of water in all of them, right? Yeah, we're gonna a, little bit of, a little bit of water and then a little bit of water. You're going to pour a little bit of water into each of your clear containers. All right, and we have five containers that we're going to look at, right? So one of them is going to be, what do you think, just plain water? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. yeah, so which one, let's put a shell in the plain water. Should we make this plain water? Do you want curl or not? Your choice. You pick a shell to put into I the clear water. Almost have only one shell. Oh. Well, we can use your coral too. Where's? Uh -huh. So let's pick one, right? Because they all have calcium carbonate, which is what chalk's made out of. So if we put that, they'll they'll react similarly. So, which one should we put in the plain water? Well, I'm trying to get this one. I'm trying to get that one. This one. That looks like part of a shell. It looks like part of a scallop shell. So which it's one's going to be? A scallop is a bivalve, so it's like a clam. It's got two shells, and it goes like this, and it swims. All right, so this is our plain water one. So <laughs> what's going to go in the next one? Are we going to make one with salt water? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put a tablespoon of salt in one of these containers. You ready? coming out? That looks good. All right, so we have our tablespoon of salt. Which one do you want to put it in? Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Which one would you like to put the salt in? So it's got to be a different one from this one, right? This is our fresh water. Which one? Perfect. All right, so this is going to be our salt water. So we're going to give a little mix. So this is like ocean water, right? Because the ocean is salty? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so this is going to be plain salt water as if it were the ocean. So let's put one more piece of shell in this one. Or coral. Your choice. How many days do you think we'll do? Well, we're going to check them after one hour. We're going to check them after 12 hours. So we'll check them tonight. So you can come down tonight. And we're going to check them in the morning after 24 hours before you go to grandma's house. Oh, okay. All right. So the next one, right? Every we're gonna time make... I'm like putting a shell, sometimes like, <laughs> he zooms away. All right. So now we're going to make one that's going to be acidic. So we're going to make one like you did with your vinegar one, Kayo. So which one do you want to add a little bit of vinegar to? You pick. So not these two, but that one. Okay. So just a little. 
Perfect. All right, so now you're going to drop a shell in this one. In this one? Mm -hmm. In this one. Yeah, with just the vinegar. So this is our acidic one. So this is mimicking ocean acidification in fresh water. Perfect. Do you see anything happening to the shell? Do you see anything? Do you see tiny bubbles? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see tiny bubbles? Okay. It's passing the deal, too. Yeah. All right, so now in this one, we're going to add salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar in this one. So we'll do a tablespoon of salt. This is runny. What do you put? Because this one's going to be just vinegar. I messed up pouring water in all of them. So you're going to put salt in this one. Perfect. Give it a little, little swirl, mix it up. There you go. Now you're going to add some vinegar to that one. So now we have salty vinegar water. So this is like acidic ocean water. Now you're going to drop another, another shell in here, and, and Christina's going to make a little bit of a mess. Do you have another shell or a piece of coral you want to put in here? Franklin's bag. Where's Sitka? I don't know where Sitka is. He's over there. Do you want to put one more shell in here? Can I put this shell in there for you? Is that okay? No. No. Okay. You want to do it. So we're going to put it in this one, which is like acidic ocean water. Looks like we should put some sea glass. Let's put a shell, right? It's got to be calcium carbonate, which is like the chalking material that the animals are building their shells out of. And you need to have but yeah, I don't have forceps in my home, which would be helpful, wouldn't it? Would it be helpful if we dump them into a bowl? It might be easier to get out. Here is a nice piece of shell. Perfect. All right, so now it's going to go in this one, right? And now this one we're going to put just vinegar. Just vinegar. It's super. Super acidic. So just like you did here. Do I put all of your vinegar? Let's just put enough to cover the shell so we don't waste all of your parents' vinegar. You got one more shell? Aha. That sounds fun. Alright. So what's happening to it? Do you see anything happening to any of these? Do you see anything happening yet? Yeah. The salt water is kind of cloudy. Well, we're going to let them sit, and we're going to check on them in an hour, and we're going to check on them at 12 hours, and we're going to check on them at 24 hours. Well, you'll have to, I have to go to work, but it means we'll, you'll come back down in an hour to look at them. So for a quick recap of what Teo and I just showed you, we have five clear containers, each representing a different um, experiment or a different treatment. We have plain vinegar representing our most corrosive. We have salt water mixed with vinegar representing an ocean-like environment, salinity with vinegar, so a corrosive environment. We have just fresh water, we have just salt water, and we have fresh water mixed with vinegar representing a corrosive freshwater environment. So we have these five treatments that we're gonna track over the course of 24 hours to see how they change. So when you're doing this at home, be sure to check in on your experiment at one hour. Hours. Twenty-four hours and record what you see and how things have changed.
There's an activity sheet attached with this video that has all of these instructions written down, as well as discussion questions for you and your family at home to talk about what you said. Thank you again for joining us. Congratulations, you've now become a scientist in your own home. Ocean acidification is often studied by doing exactly what we just did, conducting an experiment. Often these experiments are conducted in the field where seawater is readily available. However, they can also be conducted in the lab and as you've just seen, in your own home. For example, for my master's research, I traveled to the Arctic, collected clams from the bottom of the ocean using a giant metal claw and brought them back to our lab in Solomon, Maryland, where I kept them alive and expose them to different CO2 conditions to understand at what point uh, the levels in the water became corrosive to these shells. Scientists like myself and others ask these questions in regards to ocean acidification. What is the threshold for these animals? At what point do water start dissolving their shells or make it harder for them to build their shells? So you have now done a simplified version of what scientists do every day to understand ocean acidification. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you found it educational and that you've learned something about CO2, the rising levels, and how it affects animals that build shells, often animals that humans like to eat, like the Maryland blue crab. If you've enjoyed this video, I encourage you to go and check out other content being released from the Chesapeake Biological Lab. Thank you.